Well, hello, beautiful people. I'm going to show some examples today from your IXL V2 in eighth grade, write variable expressions with two or three operations. So when we're translating verbal expressions, right? To translate means you take something from one language and you put it into another language, right? When we translate verbal ex variable expressions, we're taking a sentence kind of written in words and then we're making it a number sentence, right? So we're translating it. So it says, write an expression for the sequence of operations described below. Add C and five, then add six to the result. So when I add C and five, right, I'm gonna group that together. So when I write it, I'm gonna do C plus five, then I'm gonna add six to the result, plus six. Ta-da! All right, let's try this one. Subtract U from T, then subtract 10 from the result. Okay, so I'm going to reread it. Subtract u from t. So t minus u, subtract u from t, and then subtract 10 from the result, minus 10. Whew, all right. Raise 6 to the seventh power, then multiply y by the result raise six to the seventh power. Okay, so I'm gonna use this little button here to get my exponent, six to the seventh power, then multiply y by the result. So I can do a couple things here. I can kind of group this and then kind of put y on the outside, or I can do the times y. Either one would really work for that. Okay, double nine then multiply d by the result. So if I double nine, that means two times nine, right, doubling it, times two, then multiply d by the result, times d. So you're just going through and reading what's happening and then writing a number sentence kind of with that variable to represent the word sentence. All right, I'll do one more. Raise k to the eighth power, then subtract the result from j. So this one gets different. Raise k to the eighth power, then subtract the result from j. So we're going to do j minus k to the eighth power. Oops, let me use my little button. k to the eighth power, right? Because we're, we're subtracting the result from j. From j means j has to go first, minus k to the eighth power. All right, now it is your turn. Try your best, and if you have any questions, let me know. Love you. Bye.